So in one of my other videos, I showed you how to resize a column so that all of the text or numbers fits inside the column. In this case, we've got these extra little things that we've, um, that we've calculated down here, the average, the median, the number of expenses. Um, but if we resize the entire column just so that those titles fit, then this, all of column C is unnecessarily large. So let's undo that. And I'm going to show you a couple other things you can do. Um, one, and we've already also talked about wrapping the text. You could take all of those and say, okay, I want to wrap it. Um, now that makes these kind of unnecessarily uh, tall rows. So let me undo that. And I want to show you how to merge cells. So instead, we really need like B and C to be uh, this text. So what I can do is I can highlight both of those. I can um, go up to this little icon here and push merge. And now what it's done is instead of having two cells, um, B16 and C16, I have the both of them smooshed together to kind of make one mega cell. And I can do the same thing with this one and the same thing with this one. And so now all of my text fits there. I can also, um, if I wanna make this down here its own little mini chart, I can put a nice border around it. So I'm gonna highlight everything that I wanna border around. I'm gonna go up to the little border button here and I can choose inside and outside borders, just inside, just bottoms, etc. I'm gonna put a nice border around the outside of it. I'm going to change the color to orange so that it matches my table up here. And I can change the thickness if I want. I, I like this nice thick line, so I'm going to leave it like that. Now I've got a little um, border around this data down at the bottom. I could also fill in this with maybe some nice shading in like a light gray color to show that that's a separate table. Um, the other thing I can do up here is make like a nice big title for my document. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to um, insert a row above here, maybe another one as well. Um, and I'm going to title this Jessica's Monthly Budget. And I can kind of jazz that up by saying, okay, I want it to go across the entire top portion here. So I'm going to use that merge function that I just showed you. I've highlighted everything. I'm going to merge all these cells into one huge cell. I'm going to change my font size to 24. I'm going to center it. You see you can kind of um, play with it to make it look nicer. I could, you know, put it in a fancier font maybe. Um, I can do a little bit of fill up here. Um, you know, just kind of play around with it so that my overall uh, spreadsheet looks a little bit nicer. Let's also do a little, a little formatting down here. I'm going to highlight all of these. I'm gonna make my font bold and maybe a little bit bigger um, because these are numbers I really care about. I can do like a nice um, exterior border here as well if I want to, either in orange or maybe I wanna do this one in black. Um, you know, you just want to kind of play around with your spreadsheet once you're, you're totally done and kind of put some finishing touches that make everything look maybe a little bit nicer and cleaner and more professional. Hi, this is Jessica from NextGen Personal Finance. I hope my video made you love spreadsheets as much as I do. NGPF is a nonprofit organization offering free personal finance resources for high school teachers to use with their students. Frankly, our curriculum is amazing. Be sure to check out our website or watch my entire playlist of helpful spreadsheet videos. Enjoy!